From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Nicole Nalepa. Many across the country are remembering the lives that were lost on this day 19 years ago during the September 11th terrorist attacks. Out of an abundance of caution, many in-person memorial services have been canceled. That includes the ceremonial name reading of the fallen at Ground Zero. Instead, a recording of a past name reading will be played. Now, there are several local memorials that are still taking place here in Connecticut, and you can find out some more information on them right on our Channel 3 app. The police chief in Bridgeport and the city's personnel director are both facing federal charges accused of rigging the hiring process. Prosecutors say Chief Armando Perez was provided with testing information when he applied for the job that other candidates did not get. They also say acting personnel director David Dunn had the testing weighed in his favor. Assistant Chief Rebecca Garcia has been named as acting police chief for the time being. And the fight to save high school football now heads to the state capitol today. Governor Lamont has called a meeting this morning between the CIAC and the Department of Public Health on fall sports. If you remember, on Wednesday, hundreds rallied for the CIAC to reverse its decision to cancel full contact football. Scott? All right, it's going to be a beautiful day today. Uh, we are clearing the skies, 733, and the temperatures are going to rise nicely into the mid to upper 70s, becoming uh, mostly sunny, and the air will become drier. The dew points are going to be coming down. Really does look like a spectacular day of weather. Not only today, tonight we're going to clear things out. Look at the overnight lows. Whoa, it's 67 to 72 out there right now. And tomorrow morning when you wake up, the temperatures are going to be between about 46 and 51 degrees. So what a remarkable difference that is going to make. It's going to be a beautiful night tonight with clear skies and it's going to be cool. You'll be able to open up those windows and let some fresh air in. Seven days ahead, Saturday, Sunday. Well, Sunday we're going to welcome in some scattered showers. Um, we're backing off on the potential for those showers, though. They'll be around later in the day, but they don't look to be as nearly widespread as previously thought. And Monday through Thursday look great. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. Eyewitness News is everywhere. Get the latest in-depth headlines anytime on the Channel 3 streaming news app.